this. Um, Eric Scott, Fire Captain, Paramedic, and Public Information Officer. Um, the LAFD administration would like to recognize two firefighters here, as well as a civilian, for their courageous efforts in rescuing a woman outside uh, from her burning home. It was actually a recent incident. It took place on May 8th of this year, and they were dispatched to a structure fire at the 4100 block of Denker Avenue. That's in the Vermont Square area of Los Angeles. And when they arrived on scene, they had a smaller one-story home uh, with one room in the rear that was well involved in flames and it was rapidly spreading throughout the attic. And they had reports that someone was trapped inside, which certainly heightened their sense of awareness. The first two engines began developing hose lines. The first truck company went to the roof for ventilation. But the fourth company on scene was Light Force 15, where our members or who are being recognized were from. They were assigned the task of forcible entry as well as the important task of search and rescue. Um, also during this time, it's important to note that Mr. Steve Love, a civilian that's being recognized um, today, was outside speaking with Captain Caldwell and providing information about the woman that was missing uh, inside the house and where she was. Uh, he also made several attempts himself to try to go inside of that burning home, but he was drove back from the heat and from the smoke. Now, our two firefighters, Valenzuela and Bravo, then paired up and they began to make entry inside the house as the rest of the light force was still suiting up. And it's also important to note that these two firefighters did so without hand lines to protect themselves. So they crawled on their hands and knees throughout the, the burning home that was filled with some superheated smoke at this point. It was very dark, hot. It was banking down uh, during these conditions. And they had to shield themselves as best they could as they made way past the, the burning room to try to perform a very systematic right-handed search to find this woman that was missing and uh, they had that validated information from Mr. Love. So during the systematic search, Firefighter Bravo found an unconscious woman that was lying on the floor and he started to drag her body assisted by Firefighter Valenzuela and Firefighter Bravo then found a window and was able to call out for help and let them know they located someone and began lifting the patient out the window. Now outside was Captain Caldwell and Mr. Love that both assisted in trying to pull this woman out and uh, free her. Uh, then the woman was rapidly treated and transported by our firefighter paramedics and taken to a local hospital. But we were all very pleased this morning to find out that this female patient had survived. And so what a great example of the fine work that was performed by our firefighters along with the courageous efforts by Mr. Love. And it also highlights the great work by our drill tower instructors that prepare firefighters like Bravo who had graduated the academy only weeks prior to and uh, to really prepare them for this dangerous job, as well as the successful instruction from uh, Captain Cheyenne Caldwell. So at this point, we'd like to ask these members to please come up and join us. Firefighter Michael Bravo from Fire Station 15A, Firefighter Paramedic Jonathan Valenzuela from 15A, Mr. Steve Love, and Captain Caldwell. and we'll read one of the certificates. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistant, which directly resulted in the saving of the life of a 44-year-old woman during a residential structure fire on May 8, 2017, at the 4100 block of Denker Avenue in the Vermont Square District of Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the city of Los Angeles. Presented this first day of August, 2017, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. What a tremendous honor it is to get up here every two weeks and, and talk about our people. And in this case, it's, it's unique because we're recognizing a civilian as well as a member on probation that actually contributed to saving the life of, of the lady in that structure fire. 
Um, what Mr. Love did, when you think about it, without any equipment, without any training, he ran into a, a burning house. And I don't even know if Mr. Love knew her before the fire, but he didn't. So all these reasons that uh, the average person probably wouldn't go running into a structure fire. And talking to Mr. Love before commission today, he wondered why firefighters did it, why we would run into a building on fire. And I think now he knows why, because we can save somebody's life. You know, we tell our officers and our firefighters about our risk policy. It's to, it's risk a little to save a little, risk a lot to save a lot. I intentionally kept it simple, and saving a lot is worth the risk. So I'm extremely proud that the members from Light Force 15 are here. Extremely proud of Mr. Love, and I congratulate you on your heroic efforts, all of you. Congratulations. I just want to say uh, to my men, I'm proud of you. Good job. And for the rest of the guys, and actually the family, you should be proud because they did great work that day. They were selfless. Integrity and courage, as the chief mentioned, was evident. They did a great job, so be proud. Hello, I'm Steve Love. And uh, I just want to make this short and quick. Uh, as I got to that fire that day, and before the fire department got there, I had been running in three or four times and around to a bedroom window that it was engulfed, the whole place engulfed in flames in an amount of heat. And I kept running in. I tried to make a wet towel to go back in. And just about this time, I know the lady's been in there too long with all this smoke. I can only stand in seconds at a time. <clears throat> so I'm like, you know, losing hope. And then actually at that point, the fire department is pulling up. <clears throat> and as the, they're running everywhere, getting ladders, doing everything, then the, the two firemen, they came to the door that I assisted in directing. But what I watched was this. I was exhausted with what I could do. I could do no more. And actually, the lady would have died in that house. When the fire department got there, what I got to see was efficiency, training, and equipment go to work. And so I watched them make almost light work of what I had gave up hope on because I watched them go in. And I, then I watched them from the window outside before they handed her out. I watched them in there working, you know, and it was hot in there. And the flames and smoke was engulfing that room. So actually, my hat's off right now to the fire department. I got to firsthand see what you guys do for a living. You know, that day I was like, you know, really overwhelmed. And I was shocked, but I was elated in the end because actually a life was saved because that lady had actually, by one more minute, she wouldn't have made it out. She wouldn't have made it. So a life was saved. And with training and equipment, I got to work. And I was just excited about working with you guys that day. 